Thanks for buying the new Hira IQ Stream TV personal audio streamer. When first unboxing, check you have all the items in the box. You will have six items the IQ Stream TV, a USB power cable, an optical audio cable with adapter, the 3.5mm auxiliary cable, and the RCA adapter cable. If you are missing any of these items, please contact us at team at newhera.com. Connecting to power. Take the USB cable and plug it into the USB port on the IQ stream. Take the other end of the USB cable and plug it into your TV. The USB ports could be located on the left, the bottom, the right or the back of the TV. If your TV does not have any USB ports, please use a readily available USB wall charger. Keep the IQ stream close to your TV, as you will need to connect other cables for audio. If connected to the TV, your IQ stream will be powered on when the TV is on. When powered up for the first time, the light on the front will flash white. Adding the IQ stream to your audio system. The IQ Stream TV has been designed with audio in and out connections for audio pass through. It can therefore be used alongside existing TV audio equipment, including sound bars and component audio systems. An external audio connection is required so others can watch TV with you. Audio will flow out of your TV and into the IQ Stream, then out of your IQ Stream and then into your sound bar, creating a full flow of audio for you and for others to enjoy. For a digital connection, use the optical cable provided. It has the thicker ends with small gold tips. Before plugging this cable in, remove the protective caps from each end. Take the green end of the optical cable and plug it into the in port on the back of your IQ stream. Take the other end and plug it into the digital optical audio out port on your TV. All TVs are different, so take time to locate the optical port on the back of your TV. These ports are commonly made with small doors on them. Take care to align the shape of the connector and insert it into the optical port until you feel a firm click. The soundbar you purchase will come with a digital optical cable. Find this and attach the digital optical adapter provided with your IQ Stream TV to this optical cable. Take care to remove the protective caps from both cables. Take the end with the adapter and plug it into the out port on the IQ Stream TV. Take the other end of the cable and connect it to the digital optical in port on your soundbar. This completes your setup. You can follow the same procedure for connecting to bigger audio component systems. Connecting to the app. Once the IQ Stream is connected, you may connect your IQ Buds to your phone or tablet and open the new Hera app. Your IQ Buds Boost will require the latest firmware for use with IQ Stream TV. Ensure this is installed on your IQ Buds before you begin. You can download the installer from the address on the screen. When your IQ Buds Boost are connected to your phone, you will receive a pop-up message requesting you to tap your phone on the IQ stream. Hold your phone or tablet on the IQ stream until you see connected. If you didn't see this pop up, you may need to update your app. Go to the app store on your phone or tablet to do this. Choose a name for your IQ stream. Whatever room you are in is a great name to use. Your IQ stream is now ready for use. You will land on a screen that says you are streaming audio from your phone. Below this will be a list of your connected devices and you will see the IQ stream with the name you just gave it. If it doesn't show up, please give it a few seconds. Tap the IQ stream you just named and allow it a few seconds to connect. You will then see a screen where you can control your own TV volume through your IQ Buds Boost. You can turn the volume up or down or mute it. It's important to note that this will only change the volume of what you are hearing through your IQ Buds, not the external TV itself. When you want to listen to music or media from your phone or take phone calls, 
Open the stream source list again and select the name of your phone.